From the vastness of space, Earth appears as a vibrant blue sphere teeming with life. But what if our planet is more than just a celestial body? What if Earth itself is alive? This concept, while seemingly radical, finds support when we observe the intricate interconnectedness of Earth's systems. From the delicate balance of gases in the atmosphere to the complex web of life in its ecosystems, Earth exhibits qualities reminiscent of a living, breathing entity. Consider the constant flow of energy and matter across the planet. The oceans, teeming with life, regulate temperature and drive weather patterns. Forests act as the planet's lungs, absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. Volcanoes, while destructive, play a crucial role in replenishing the Earth's crust and atmosphere. These interconnected systems, working in harmony, suggest an entity far greater than the sum of its parts. The idea of a living Earth is not new. Ancient cultures have long revered the planet as a mother goddess, recognizing their dependence on her bounty. Indigenous communities around the world still hold deep spiritual connections to the Earth, viewing themselves not as separate from nature but as integral parts of it. This perspective, often dismissed as primitive superstition, might hold profound truths about our planet's true nature. Perhaps it is time to shed our anthropocentric view and recognize Earth not just as a planet but as a living, evolving entity. By understanding Earth's interconnectedness and its remarkable ability to self-regulate, we may gain a deeper appreciation for the delicate balance that sustains us all. Earth's history is a testament to its resilience but also to its capacity for dramatic upheaval. Over billions of years, life on Earth has faced numerous challenges from asteroid impacts to volcanic eruptions leading to periods of mass extinction. These events, while catastrophic, have played a crucial role in shaping the evolution of life on Earth, acting as a reset button for the planet's biosphere. The Permian-Triassic extinction event occurring roughly 252 million years ago stands as the most severe extinction event in Earth's history. This event, dubbed the Great Dying, wiped out an estimated 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. The exact cause remains a subject of debate, but evidence points towards massive volcanic eruptions as the primary culprit. Another significant event, the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction, marked the end of the dinosaurs around 66 million years ago. This event, widely attributed to an asteroid impact, led to the extinction of roughly 76% of plant and animal species on Earth. While devastating, this event paved the way for the rise of mammals and, ultimately, the emergence of humans. These mass extinctions, while seemingly random acts of destruction, exhibit a pattern of destruction followed by renewal. Each event, while decimating existing life forms, created opportunities for new species to evolve and flourish. This cycle of death and rebirth suggests that Earth possesses an inherent ability to recover from even the most catastrophic events. The intriguing notion of Earth as a living entity finds scientific grounding in the Gaia hypothesis. Proposed by chemist James Lovelock and microbiologist Lynn Margulis in the 1970s, this hypothesis posits that Earth's living and non-living components interact in a complex and self-regulating system, maintaining conditions suitable for life. Imagine Earth as a giant superorganism, with its atmosphere, oceans and land masses acting as organs and its diverse life forms serving as cells. This interconnected system, according to the Gaia hypothesis, actively regulates its temperature, atmospheric composition and ocean salinity to maintain a stable and habitable environment for life. One compelling example of this self-regulation is the Earth's climate system. Through the carbon cycle, where carbon dioxide is exchanged between the atmosphere, oceans and land, Earth has maintained relatively stable temperatures over billions of years despite significant variations in solar radiation. This delicate balance maintained by the interplay of living organisms and geological processes, highlights Earth's remarkable ability to self-regulate. The Gaia hypothesis remains a subject of ongoing scientific debate, with critics arguing that it lacks empirical evidence and relies on teleological explanations. However, the hypothesis has spurred important research into Earth system science, emphasizing the interconnectedness of Earth systems and the crucial role of life in maintaining the planet's habitability. Across cultures and continents, ancient myths whisper of global cataclysms that reshaped the world. 
From the biblical flood to the sinking of Atlantis, these stories, often dismissed as mere folklore, bear striking similarities to scientific evidence of past catastrophic events. Consider the story of Noah's Ark, a tale of a great flood that submerged the world. While the literal interpretation remains contested, geological evidence suggests that a massive flood inundated the Black Sea region around 5600 BC, potentially inspiring this enduring myth. This catastrophic event caused by rising sea levels would have had a profound impact on early civilizations, leaving an indelible mark on their collective memory. Similarly, the legend of Atlantis, a technologically advanced civilization swallowed by the sea, resonates with modern theories of lost civilizations submerged by rising sea levels or catastrophic earthquakes. While concrete evidence of Atlantis remains elusive, the myth highlights the profound impact that natural disasters have had on human history, often leading to the loss of entire civilizations. These ancient myths, passed down through generations, serve as a stark reminder of Earth's capacity for dramatic change and the vulnerability of human civilization in the face of such events. While we strive to understand our planet through the lens of science, these ancient stories offer a glimpse into the collective memory of humanity, reminding us of the enduring power of nature.